For more than 70 years, New Yorkers have stood on street corners, whistling and waving, hoping to catch their attention. Well, the New Yorkers are still there, but the objects of their affection are almost out of the picture. Welcome to New York City, the Empire State Building, Times Square, and the famous Checker Cab. At least that's how it has been portrayed in the movies and on TV. In reality, the boxy checker has gone the way of gas street lamps and vinyl records. It's almost extinct. Back in the late 70s, you used to have thousands and thousands of them. I think we are now uh, only eight left in the city. And uh, we take great pride of checkers. We love it. And that's our contribution to New York City. And a last hurrah for the trademark taxi. Dozens of checker owners from around the country motored through the streets of Manhattan yesterday. Everyone agreed there was something special about the checker. Checkers are part of history in New York. Nowadays, they complain that there's no room enough in the other cars for them. And they really enjoy the ride when they get into a checker. You think you are flying. You are not in a car like sitting like this and uh, look at the road like this. You are on top, you're like a, tr a truck driver, you know what I mean? Well, I like it because it's so large and big and I just call it my chubby checker. Taxi, taxi, take me anywhere. The first checkers rolled off the assembly line at the Checker Motors Corporation in Kalamazoo, Michigan in 1922. During their heyday in the 60s and 70s, the company produced more than 5,000 checkers a year that were used in cities around the world. The roomy design didn't change much over the years, and in the end, that led to their undoing. The two-ton beast was a real gas guzzler. In 1982, due to declining sales, the Checker Corporation halted production. And what happens to the remaining few? Maybe in 10 years from now, there won't be any more Checkers. That will be a dying breed, something like a dinosaur. Checker cabs, like the people who drive them, just can't run forever. So soon there won't be any oversized checkers cruising for fares. We'll all lose a lot of leg room and a little piece of history. When we come back, we'll meet a few folks with checkered pass as Good Morning America continues from Central Park in New York City. At 5 a.m., all the Millers can think about is that first get-you-going cup of coffee. That eye-opening, fill-the-kitchen aroma of Folgers crystals. It all begins with mountain-grown beans, fresh brewed, then crystallized, for a deep, dark, rich coffee just waiting to become your welcome to the day. There's no other coffee that kicks off the Miller's morning like Folgers crystals. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Only one adult cereal could be this much fun to eat. Basic Four, a colorful mix of flakes, fruits, and nuts. Basic Four, tastes so good, you'll forget it for adults. How long does Replens relieve the discomfort of vaginal dryness? All day, all night, through the next day and night. Discover the difference of Replens, vaginal moisture that lasts for days. are the greatest athletes of the year? Monday. The biggest stars in sports and entertainment gather to choose the best in the business. Mark Curry hosts the Jim Thorpe Pro Sports Awards live Monday. Is this thing ever gonna go off? Just keep smiling, everybody. Keep smiling. That's your answer to everything. Mm. Our guns are starting to hurt. Mm. I gotta meet the guards at the mall. I hope this happens soon when you're my age, every second counts. Dad, you have to go to the party. Okay, I'll fix it. Excuse me. I'm the trying to get to the. Family Matters, Fridays on ABC. All right.
right, here are our folks with checkered pass. These are four guys with really cool cars. <laughs> they actually checker cabs, to be precise. Michael Angelic and Colin Peck are checker cab enthusiasts uh, who actually helped organize this weekend's checker cab reunion here in New York. Victor Acuna and Fitzgerald Cajus are two of the last remaining really bona fide checker cab drivers. And it's nice to have all of you here. I think you only got yours about three years ago, That's right, correct, Michael? Yes. And yet you were already helping organize. What's the secret to this thing? <laughs> Well, there's a certain charisma to these cars, and once you get hooked, you're hooked, and that's it. Just to go over the historic part of this, they don't make them anymore. That's right. They haven't made them since... 82. I've often wondered, did they come out of the factory painted this way, or did they have to be painted? Colin? Some of them, uh, I, I would say with the cabs, most of them came out uh, as a yellow. I mean, but the, the, the way I look at it, checker cabs are like the last contemporary art form. You never see two cabs the same color. Every cab company painted them black, red, blue. Even, even in, in a, somewhere like New York, you look at the different shades of yellow you're going to well, see. Right here you can see just yeah. different shades. Yeah. But well, you're out in California, aren't you? Uh, well, I'm originally well, from England, originally but from yes, London. Sir. Did you drive a cab in, in England? No. No? no? But you, it, drove your, you drove your checker all the way from L.A. to, to New York? 4,000 right? miles in, in two weeks. And Did people think that you were really a cab driver and tried to get in? <laughs> The, 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 the most curious thing was in, in L.A., I used to have to beat people off. The, you always kept the back doors locked because people wanted to jump in the back. Coming across country with my wife, Cheryl, the most often asked question was not, what is it, you know, how old is it? People would assume someone, you know, there's this crazy woman that's got in the car and said, and take me to New you. York. Yeah, everyone would ask my wife, how much is on the meter? <laughs> well, you guys drive, you put a ton of miles on this thing, right? Yes, I've done it, yeah. How, like how much? It's around 700,000 miles. 700,000? And the reason for that is because I, I double shift the car. I have a driver who works daytime and I work nights because I do something else during the day. But practically it runs uh, 20 hours a day for six, seven days a week. Are they, are they repairable? Can you get them uh, repaired? They are, but now they have become expensive to maintain. But uh, in my case, for as long as I get the parts, I keep the car. But actually, like everything it. runs manually in the car, so there's exactly. not a lot of things to go wrong, right? Mm. You can, can you do your own tune-ups and things? Oh, no. no. I have a mechanic to do it. At. But do you put a similar a like amount of miles on? Uh, oh, over uh, 800,000. 800,000? 800, yes. How often do you change the oil? Once a week. You do once, once a week? Once a week? Once a week. Why? That's, that's that the only way you keep it running, in good shape. Really? Yes, sure. What is it that's really distinctive to you about these cars, and why is it still worth it while to you to drive one of these as opposed well, to trading? Well, to me, the Checker Cab is a symbol. It's New York City. <laughs> you know, it's, it's like the Statue of Liberty. It's like the Bicep Building. Uh, you know, it it's, really is. It's symbolic. Do you have air conditioning in that car? Of course. You do? Oh, I do. No? No, I don't. I have then maybe one. he'll give you a ride home. <laughs> 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 they all still have the jump seats? Yeah, absolutely. You have to have the jump seats. Well, that's right, yes. Well, Michael, you're a tall guy. You got your tall. That, that's one thing people really like about these things. You have more leg room. Yeah, your head room. I have plenty of room over my head. I can't even, my feet can't even touch the front seat. Now I'm 6'4". Yeah, I like it that you sit up tall in those things. Sit up high. All guys who, every day, take the checkered flag. That's right, with cool cars from Central Park. We'll be back. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Sprint is the only global phone company with local, long distance, and cellular. So whether you're calling around the world or around the corner, with Sprint, you can be there now. So whoever said the world doesn't revolve around you obviously didn't have Sprint. You got OJ, purple stuff, soda, sunny day? Yeah, go for it. Tastes like orange and tangerine. And lime. Some healthy junk, too. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Instant replay. <laughs> sunny Delight, the good stuff kids go for. Get ready for some fireworks. Loving's Born to be Wild, says USA Today. Wow, it's sexy, funny, yes! and breaking new ground. I'm impressed. It's making a splash. Nothing could compare to this. With fresh talent. It's spirited and eye-catching. 
with humor and wit, says Soap Opera Weekly. <laughs> See why everyone's talking about loving. The best is yet to come. Golf's premier international event, a bowling battle in Texas, basketball's favorite funny man, and the hottest thing on wheels, mean a four-star summer Saturday on ABC Sports. First, the world's greatest golfers tee off in the British Open live, and later, bowling's best take aim at the El Paso Open. Then on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the Harlem Globetrotters show off their best stuff in L.A., plus the coolest craze on the streets, skirt summer skate from Universal Studios, Florida. It's all Saturday on ABC Sports. Good Morning America is brought to you by Folgers Crystals. Out here, even I can do the weather. Spencer is hot. What else? <laughs> well, it's going to continue to be hot over much of the east, Joan. Hot and sticky, but not as hot as it was over the weekend. Scattered thunderstorms through the mid-Mississippi Valley, but a break coming for everybody by week's end. We'll take it. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, actresses Joe Beth Williams, Ali Sheedy, Talia Shire, and Jill Eikenberry. I've been out here 15 minutes. I've already shot a five-day pad. Yes. I'm going down to Baltimore. Preview of the All-Star Game we'll have for you tomorrow. Grab a cab. All right. One of the six remaining checker cabs still on the streets of New York, I'm told. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. I want the Until jump seat. I want the jump seat. You got it. <laughs> I'll take this seat. Ah. There we go. There you got it. Ooh, this is cool. And we're all in. Cool car. Cool and hot. Bye. See you tomorrow. The Emmy Award-winning Good Morning America, number one for news and information in the morning.